Definitely an ending. <laughs> Good morning, afternoon, Good morning. evening, whatever time of day it is. Maybe you're yeah. awake at three o'clock in the morning. Maybe you uh, are. You just can, come back from prowling the... the streets. <laughs> For guitars, of course, and pedals and other lovely uh, stuff. Welcome to Anderson TV. I'm Pete. I'm the captain. Reverend Guitars. Yes. Um, from our friend Ken Haas and Joe Naylor in America. Oh, look at this. Um, got some new guitars for 2020. New colours, new, new specs, oh. uh, new, new, new. Just lots of new um, stuff. We now, saw these at NAMM. what film, Pete, was the line I could have been a contender from? Or was it you could have been a contender? I can't remember. Is it, was it, was it Rocky or Raging Bull? I can't decide if it's the trainer going, eh, you could have been a contender. Or if it was Rocky going, I oh, could have been a contender. Or if it was uh, Robert De Niro. No, he went Bull. Adrian, didn't he? Adrian! Adrian. I anyway. You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. Instead of a bum. Which is what I am. Let's face it. I... Yeah, no. I, I'm not sure. Not sure. But I'm sure people will know. People will know. Yeah. Uh, the contender. Yes. from Reverend is a new shape in three variants of which we have two here today. So it's a flat top, single cut, set neck, uh, all Carina. Carina, aqua Carina. <laughs> uh, it's kind of, what is it? Like an offset Les Paul vibe with a flat top? So it's you not really Les Paul at all, is it? It's you know what the shape reminds me of a little bit? Do you remember the Schecters? Yes, do you remember I those? Do. What was? It? What were they called? Um, uh, solo. Two? Yes, solo something. Yeah, that's that's kind of the shape, isn't it? It's kind of a little bit of a, of, of an offset. Yeah, as you say, it's Paul, but with the the cuts on the belly and the uh, arm uh, cut there. Uh, Great six, looking guitar. Six aside headstock. So it's kind of like bit sort of Leo a bit up here, a bit Les down here. Leo, Les Leo. 
Um, <laughs> and I've got the humbucker. So this is called the Contender HB. It's got the, mm. the, the classic uh, Reverend HA5 uh, humbuckers on there. A little hotter than a classic humbucker. Pete's got the RB, <laughs> so the retro. Charger Retro Blast. Mm. Retro Blast. If you like retro blasting. Which is a uh, mini humbucker. Is it? Yes. Uh, a, an Al Nico 5 mini humbucker yeah. with a uh, Bigsby. Yes. And the oh. model we don't have, uh, which perhaps you'll see on screen now, is the Contender 290, which is the P90 version. All in a wonderful two or three different colors in each model. Is that why it's called a 290 and not the... Because there's two P90s there's two P90s. In P90s. I Absolutely. Get that. Because you also do some other guitars, which actually got three P90s. And you know what they're field. called? So. They're called the 390. <laughs> You're getting it. So 24 <laughs> and three quarter inch scale length. So it's very much in the Gibson kind of camp from that point of view. Definitely feel uh, that. And let's get some tones, yeah. Mr. P. Uh, Although so we've got two different guitars, so we'll have to do it each, won't we? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That, it's funny with the headstock as well. I'm not sure, what is that angle on that headstock? Because it seems more than, is it, is the, is it more of a, a Gibson-y Could be more of a, of a gibson -y. But of course, because the strings go completely straight over the nut, you haven't got that sort of issue of the, the, the sort of the strings going over a fairly heavy brake angle and then shooting off left or right. Uh, correct, correctly, is, uh, correctly. Anyway. Anyway, let's have some tones. So this, this is the uh, uh, is new it, how uh, balanced Retro Blast it? see. pickups, uh, which is, as Lee said, Alginic 5 uh, Mini Humbugging. And you've got a volume and a tone, and then you've got the bass contour switch, which I love. Oh, is that what this back guitar. one is? The bass contour -y. Yeah, and then you've got a freeway selector switch which in my opinion probably is not the greatest place you want it up here yeah i just uh, uh, yes probably but because see my arm now there how are you gonna do that it's kind of you kind of i'm from you here should, it's you should design yeah. guitars for i know beat. i should not but um, anyway here's uh clean tone um on the back pickup And interesting to notice that this is a Bixby, but they, um, Reeves Cabrel, he was in here telling the story about this little spring in here. Do you remember that? Yes. And that little spring, he uh, found one from a motorbike he had or something, and he put it in there. It was a dirt bike, wasn't it? Was it was a dirt I think. bike. Yeah. And, um, and he put it in, and it's much smoother. It looks to me like it's a slightly, um, the spring is kind of smaller, so it's not as fat as on the normal Bixby's, which means you get that really nice. So, and it stays in tune relatively as for a Bixby a guitar that just come out of the case. Let's uh, just check this contour switch down here because I really enjoy uh, that. See, I was fat and, fat and sharp, especially if you put a bit of gain. Off. On. Oh! That is, that is just the right amount of gain for that pickup. Exactly. Or it's just the right pickup for that amount of game, whichever way around you go. Yeah, so which means that you've that got one of these, great. you need the Dane. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's just a Dane on about, uh, what is that, 11 o'clock. So here. And uh, with the bass control off. Tone off. Great. Oh, it's a t uh, tone on this guitar we put up all the time. But uh, middle position with the bass contour off. Clean. I like. Oh, it's nice and spanky. <laughs> and with the uh, <laughs> bass contour off. So see that's the, uh, it, I've got an issue with this. I've got a bit of an issue with I, this. I can here. see that. That kind of. Um. Uh, okay. Uh. I can see. Uh, sorry. I can see you're having to, to. You're having trouble with the reach around. I haven't. Which uh, yeah, surprised have to, me. It's normally. I'm normally good at that. You're normally fine with I'm that. Normally so. perfectly yeah. adequate at a reach around. So. <laughs> 
uh, especially because I just there's two fingers while I'm holding something. I I really like that bass roll off feature Isn't that great? with the gain sound. It's very very cool. Let's try just to go on the neck pick up there again and then. So that's off. Yeah, because that, that is, I think that's too much bass end for a driven tone. And you just exactly. want to go a little bit less. But also if you're playing, uh, you know, on your own sort of with yourself, mm. uh, it's nice to have a bit yes. of extra bass yeah. end. Very cool. With the, with the Dane. Put the bass on. Oh, that sounds that, good, Honestly, man. that's one of the best sounds I've heard out of the Dane. That really suits it, that yeah, pickup. Yeah, it sounds great, man, yeah. isn't it? Well, oh, I really like. I'm that. pleased with that as well because a lot of the a lot of the new guitars that we've bought up here for this video are actually basically just the last year's models that have now got the retro blast pickups on yeah, them. Yeah, so I that's can't cool. see. I can't see yours. No, I, 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 I moved uh, it, didn't I, earlier, so I could it. adjust. Let me something. just try uh, to uh, double up on the gain. Here so it have is. A, a revival drive and the Dane together just to see what happens. Turn it up, of course. Full marks, well done, uh, Reverend, on Ooh. that model. So that's the Contender RB. In Venetian gold. Uh, there Thank are you. other colours, which perhaps, if they haven't appeared already, will appear on screen Look now. Look at that, beautiful. Uh, so let's do the, the Contender HB. Same mm. feeling guitar, but no uh, hardtail now, or at least this tunematic uh, bridge and tailpiece, and humbuckers. <laughs> No coil yeah. taps, no nothing. Just same as Pete. Bass roll off. Tone. Volume. Uh, bridge pick up here. Middle. I've got my bass roll off, I think about halfway up. It's like adjusted to taste. Just a taste. Got a lacquered back of the neck, so yeah. obviously it's got that. Um, it's a quite a different feel, isn't it, when you've got the back of the neck lacquered? It sometimes feels a little stickier, maybe, than playing a, a nitro or a, a bare wood finish. But whilst I've got it flipped over here, we've got the locking tuners, which is the same, oh, yes. I think, on all the contender models. Uh, I think these have got uh, them as well, these. Yeah, yep. have they? Yep. Uh, and then we've got a Pow Ferro fretboard with the block pearly <laughs> inlays. Pow Ferro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> we need a we need a graphic for the Pow. for the screen. Pow, Pharaoh. <laughs> sound different i mean a different <laughs> guitar amp that we're running into but a similar amp and i've put the dane on here to try to get and i've got the drive on mine actually lower let me put my drive on 11 as well yeah and, uh, and tone straight up tone straight up and, and i've got uh, volume straight up and volume i put about 11 and a half mm, okay but you can put it at 12 if you're likely right. likely so this is okay so uh everything up full 
I think that is a more classic humbucker tone. It yeah. hasn't quite got as much mid-range in it as yours has got, but it does feel like it's a little hotter. Let's try the light speed. Oh, good the nobles. Well, oh, my nobles is a bit close to my chorus. I always do that. That was a marvellous engine, but with all the gain wound down, it must have been for a different video where I wanted it like that. Let's put Mark. <laughs> Too much. Too much! Um, oh, loads of tones in there, man. Yeah, loads, loads of, of tones. tones uh, and a really nice, nicely balanced. I quite like the aesthetics. I quite like the sort of oh, they the... Look great. the uh, what's the right word when two things sort of... The contradiction, that's not the word I was looking for. But anyway, kind of like, it's, you know, the, the headstock and the and the body wouldn't necessarily go together, but actually... It does. It looks cool, man. Yeah. I always... I do think Reverend have a knack of coming up with shapes that haven't been done before yep. and making them look kind of cool, which, yep. in fairness, lots of other guitar brands just never seem to... As soon as they stray from the kind of the, the standard shapes, they just end up making hideous-looking guitars. But Correct. I like what Reverend do. So what's your, what is that beautiful green guitar that you've got there, Pete? I have got a flat rock Ooh. in emerald sparkle green. Look at that thing. It's a great it's, color. Look at that with the binding. I oh. love it with a roasted maple neck, knocking tuners, and the um, the same pickups I've got in all of my guitars down here. So the mini humbuckers. Retro uh, blast! Where's the blast? <laughs> uh, a, Ah, uh, it's such a shame you haven't got... Oh, you have. You've got a guitar with a Pal Ferro neck yes, as I well, do. because then there's an opportunity to two. go Retro Blast Pal Ferro <laughs> with loads of... Wait, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and a three-way selector, volume and tone, and again, your um, bass contour up here. And it uh, it should do some similar kind of thing to the to this one with the Dana. But you've got I a bolt-on neck now, so a different yes. kind of sound. Yeah, I've got a bolt-on neck. But is it Lee? Or is that <laughs> just in your mind? Yeah, it's all. We make it all up. Do we make it all yeah, up? And then absolutely. people go, I can hear the difference. There's no difference. The guitar, it doesn't matter what you do to a guitar, <laughs> it's only the pickups that make any difference. The player doesn't make a difference. The woods, construction. It's all a lie to make you buy more guitars. <laughs> okay, so here we are with the uh, Retro Blast uh, in the bridge. <laughs> Tone up, volume up, full, and bass contour rolled off, and the J Dane, a Sane, and a G chord. <laughs> Doesn't sound the same, it sounds great. No, but I, it, I rest my case. Yeah, See, you same rest, pickups, different sounding guitar. You rest that case on I something. Will. I'm ready. Nick? It's, it's not as it's not as it doesn't drive the the whole thing with I the same settings. Why. This one why is that Lee? Middle position. You want to clean without pedals because these are a, a different scale length. These are a 25 and a half inch scale length. Yes. So we've gone all fendery now. And the headstock is also straight. Oh yeah. Straight up. Again, very fendery. Uh, let's just see. The earth is flat as well. <laughs> here's the here's the clean tone on the neck pickup. With the bass on. Sounds great, man. You know, just a nice. I think the body shape is, I really like it. 
I really, I've always liked this body shape and I think the colors with the binding are fab. And it's just a great absolutely. looking guitar. I might uh, find a plastic surgeon, a surgeon that can give me this body shape <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Clean tones, you have to have the thing you have on. To have bass you? In. Good chord choice. If this was QVC. <sighs> That, that would be the point at which you'd see the sails flooding in <laughs> for that model. Just that, that. Was, that, was the, that was the cell chord. This. Oh, man. It's good. So you can hear there's a little bit of, uh, because I'm running the slur mm. straight into the well, amp, so it gives that little crunchiness. And now, crunch. I will attempt to play some chords uh, to trigger the uh, refund button on QVC. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to. So I've got a, um, a Buckshot. Now, a Buckshot is basically the same guitar that Pete had there, but now Ooh. with a, a retro blast <laughs> at the neck, but a traditional <laughs> T-style uh, single coil pickup at the bridge. Uh, where's your pickup selector on that on that buckshot? Uh, uh, here, down where oh, right, right, normal yeah. telly so style all, thing. Just, it's all, all the normal. same. All normal, same. Yeah. Uh, here we go. So let's try the uh, retro blast pickup in the neck. I assume <laughs> this will sound much the same as Pete, other than I'm not retro as good. Blast. Bass removal. Removal. No bass too large for us to remove. Uh, let's go straight to the bridge. Straight to the heart. Big difference. Now all of it, in fact, it's a shame you haven't got your one still there. Then we could have just literally just gone. In fact, he's, he's coming back. He's coming back. Let, let's just do a, a bridge V. Let's go retro blast versus, you know, traditional. Oh, I just, I, sorry. I just noticed on the back here, they have the little logo on the uh, input. Oh, they do. Uh, I like it. It's like a little Duesenberg thing, that, isn't it? Where uh, they put it. all their logos on the hardware. So what's the, where, what do you want to do here? It's clean sound, just bridge pickup. And with the bass in or out? In. Okay. Not that big a difference, is no, there? No, not really. Your put sounds the, maybe a tiny bit fatter. Put the Dane on. Big, there's a bigger difference more there. gain this we also got more, more, sounds like gain. more gain from that yeah listen I sounds think more saturated. I think it's brighter maybe a little oh you got the bass no I've got it all the way up yeah you got yeah, that's off, isn't it? So it's yeah, a no bass. Let's try it. Okay. Take so, it all, all the way off. So yeah. that way. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so here. More mid-range than yours. Yeah. I like the sound of yours. I oh, do like, I I like the sound this. of yours. I love this. Yeah. So what's that? A flat rock? 
That's same that's as your, the as one, a flat, flat rock, rock, yeah, but with, and with the uh, retro blast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to this one. So uh, we didn't really do the middle position, so that's nice. That's nice. Okay, if you, let's go there. Sorry. It's a great looking guitar. I think that I, I like I think I like the flat rock better than the buck shot. Yeah. But it's basically the same guitar just with two different bridge pickups. So you go with whatever your preference is. This colour is called medieval red, uh, because of course no other kinds of red existed in the Middle Ages. So last guitar on the menu today is the Club King. Oof. Yeah, also comes in three colours. Also got the box shot, uh, the, not the, the box shot. What am I talking about here? I'm completely confused. The now. which one? It's got the Retro Blast <laughs> pickups in it. Uh, roasted maple neck. This is a bolt on version, so they put six bolts in because four is just like not Frankenstein. Uh, locking tuners, roasted maple, I said, and um, your um, Pow Ferro uh, board. <laughs> They're set up really nicely out of the box. Um, this is this is a semi-hollow. It is. Is it chambered even around the other side then? I think it's got a chamber here as well. So I think it's got a, mid, uh, a block down the middle, nice. center block. Uh, again with the. Um... Sorry, I'll take the overdrive. I like off that there. a lot. That's another nice. It's got a. It's got a kind of Rickenbacker vibe to it, hasn't it? Just as the look. Yeah, and, and also a little bit of a three-three. I don't know, maybe three, three, nine. It's, it's much bigger. I think actually. if you played some Beatles tunes and went like this a lot, you could be a bit, you know. It, it, it. Uh, like that. <laughs> Close your eyes. Whatever, that's not the chord. But um, uh, let's just go back. Again, you've got your uh, bass contour switch, but now it's here. This is a really nice place to put it. Uh, volume and tone, same uh, selector system switching as you've got on yours. Here's the neck. Oh, With I like some it. Slow. Here comes an expensive chord. Bass off. B. 
Plays on middle position. Phase off. Back position, bass on. Again, I... I love it. It plays nice. It sounds great. But there's something with the that kind of gets in the way of the big speed and these and this switching. If you're, you know what I mean? Because I'm if I'm here and I'm holding the big speed, I'm hitting this little right switching. But that's maybe it's just me. I mean, you probably do that and then switch it. But then what if you if you're in here in the back position and you get the arm and then you sort of. I can't remember. It, does the Club King come in a version of uh, a non big speed version? <sighs> I can't it's, remember. That's a lot on the screen now. It will either go, no, it doesn't, yeah. or yes, oh, yeah, it does, and, and it'll show you something. Because <laughs> uh, if you go on the website, they've got a lot of. There's a lot of yeah, models. There's a lot there's of guitars lot of in the range. Mont. There's a. There's, they've parted up in different categories, so bolt on and. Well, my um, favourite sounding ones are the one you're playing now, the Club King, and the and the Flat Rock. I thought they I sounded mean, this, great. This sounds great, this doesn't it? And to those of you who's thinking, oh, what are those chords he's playing? Basically, I'm playing an A bar chord, but I'm lifting off. So the B and the E string. It's a great chord. It's, it's, it's open, so you got the, this open kind of vibe. You can do it from G, you can do it from A, you can do it from B, you can do it from C, you can do it from D, and you can do it from E. And it just sounds expensive, even though it's not really. You can do it F, I think. There's a, there's a, there's a, I remember one of the very first tunes I ever, no, there was a Rush tune, I think, called Spirit of the Radio. That... <laughs> and it did that kind of, and of but... course, my butchered version with extra chorus and reverb, of course, you can go. Yeah, but see, that's not the chorus. Anyway. So, and if you can even do this, look, this. Oh, haunting. There's happy chords and sad swords. Swords? Chords? Scary chords. Isn't that, that's uh, a cool little lesson chords. actually there. That's just all we have to do. Just that's do all we that have to chord. Do. Well, look, I really like that guitar, Pete. I love I, it. I think it's great. I love the colours. Yeah. I love the vibe. So the only thing we've not told you about is pricing. So Reverend, if you're not sure, uh, are built in South Korea. Yep. Uh, in a factory that has made guitars for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's what you're generally getting when you go to South Korea for production. You get to use a factory that have probably got 20 or 30 years experience yep. in building guitars, which typically in places like... Indonesia and to a certain degree China um, they don't have that kind of heritage of guitar building so normally speaking in terms of price you would normally consider like a, a an American uh, or a, a European boutique made instrument to be the most expensive and then you'd have Japan actually that's pretty much on a par now but it used to be a little bit less and then you'd have kind of Korea and then you'd have maybe Indonesia and China and that would be the sort of the, the, the how the, the way of the world uh, so these, most of the Reverend range sits somewhere between 800 and 1,200 pounds. I think everything we've had today is between like 800 and 1,000 yeah, pounds. Nine, yeah. um, nine, nine, nine. Really yeah. cool. With gig bags, right? Or without gig bags? Without gig bags. Without gig bags. Yeah. Oh, that's right. And then cases are an optional yeah. extra. They've got loads of different uh, things you can buy. Purple beanies as well you can purple buy. Purple beanies. Yeah. But they're great guitars, great value for money. And if you're looking yeah. for something that is, that is not everything else then these guitars are great addition to any yep. i mean i don't have one yet and i can't believe i, I don't have one they, the other thing that's cool about these is that they go from they're made in korea yes. then they go then they go to reverend in the states i want to I, 
I always forget where they are. They're, I think they're on the East Coast somewhere. Uh, and then every single one goes through a full US kind of setup and QC process and then is shipped out. I have to be honest with you, I took this one straight out the box earlier uh, and bearing in mind it's been on a boat, it's come to Anderton's, da -da 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 -da, and I literally went, and I was like, this could not have been any more <laughs> in tune, intonation perfect yeah. if we tried. Yeah. So yes, well done. That's a, that's a good thing with oh, Reverend. Sorry. Anyway, so there that's the story. There they are. Links in the description below. Um, that's the story. More than about a seventeen-hour video. This one to show uh, you three guitars. Yes, and we got a call in about seven. Uh, we have minutes. So um, we better go, man. We better go. Thank Spike you very much, guys. Love you loads. See you later. It's been emotional.